Hi there, I'm Jo Wignall and I'm going to show you how to make a printed stamped picture using a stencil technique to create a pattern. You're going to need some stamping inks in a variety of colours, the paper that you're stamping on, a piece of scrap paper, some small stamps that you're making your picture from and a slightly larger stamp that you're going to use for your stenciling technique. You're also going to use a knife to cut out your stencil and a cutting board. First you're going to ink up the stamp that you're using for your stenciling. I like to use a slightly bigger shape so that you can um, really get some detail on there when you do the stenciling part. You're going to stamp that onto your paper of your final design. This is your base colour. Then you're going to take your scrap paper and you're going to stamp the shape onto the scrap paper. I didn't bother inking it up again because you just need the basic shape there so that you can cut around it. Use your knife to cut around the edge of the shape. and remove the shape. Now you've got your stencil and you can overlay it over your design. I like the way I'm doing this on the pottery, it creates a, a bit of depth to the picture. It would be good with any images of textiles, pottery, anything that's patterned. Next I take a small flower and I stamp that up in a contrasting colour. I've chosen navy blue. And I stamp all over, going right up to the edges and over the edges of the stencil. And then I remove the stencil. And that's the stenciling part finished. I've got my design and you can see the detail on there that adds a bit of depth and makes it just look a little bit more detailed, the picture. Now I'll go on to add the flowers and the leaves in different colours to create my picture. And at this point it's up to you what you do with your design. Have a little play. I chose to do leaves and flowers in greens and greys and pale blue. I thought that those colours worked nicely with the vase that I'd done. And that's my finished design. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed making your uh, stenciled stamped picture and had some fun with that. And I hope it's given you some ideas for new ways that you can use stenciling when you're stamping.